Hey everyone, Roblox Dev here, and today I bring you Simulator Part 5, where today we are going to be fixing the purchasing system and doing a little bit more stuff. So to get started, I'm going to explain the error we had last episode. So the problem was, the tool wasn't giving us um, strength, it was um, giving us an error instead. So if I were to purchase this, well we don't have enough cash, but we can quickly grab enough cash. So real quick, there we go. So if I step on here and I purchase this, and I hit X, when I click on this, as you can see, we get an error every time. And basically, what's happening is, we gave ourselves a tool on a local script. Basically, the server did not see it. Anything that happens on a local script stays for your player and your player only. If you were to delete a part from a local script, it would be only for the player, only for that local player. Because the thing is, Scripts that are server scripts like these, these run for every single player. They run on the server. Roblox is um, Roblox runs a client and server model. Basically, there is one server and all the clients, which are the players, connect to the one server. So what was happening is we were giving ourselves a tool, but only the players saw that they got the tool and no one else, not the server. So if I were to quickly get 10 cash again, and I were to purchase a tool, and I would check my inventory from the server side, I would not actually see any uh, tool there. So I'll explain what I mean. So this tool the server gave us, it was in the starter pack, so everyone knows it's there. But this tool, only we know it's there. So it's called wait one. So if I switch over to the server and I check my backpack, you'll see that I only have the wait. And over here I have wait one. That's because we gave ourselves the tool on a local script. So what we're gonna be doing is creating a dynamic tool giving uh, function. So the first thing you want to do is head over to replicated storage, go to your remotes folder and hit plus. Then you want to insert a remote event. And this remote event can be named give tool. And then you can go ahead and close off that folder and replicated storage. And then you can get, then you can make a new script in server script service. And this script can also be called give tool. Okay, so once you have this script inserted, what you want to do is type local event equals game colon get service replicated storage replicated storage and then you want to do dot remote dot give tool and then you can go down a few lines and type event dot on server event colon connect function inside parentheses or brackets and then get rid of the bracket on that side and then create two of our own and then in here you can type in a few things so the first thing is player and the second thing will be tool and then the third thing and then the third thing will be price so then you can go to this side and then hit enter and then in here you want to do local stats equals player colon wait for child leader stats and then you want to do local cash equals stats colon find first child cash dot value and remember you can change the cash in the speech marks to whatever you gave it um, a name here so whatever you named it in the leader side script right here you can uh, put it here. So for us it's cash and then dot value. So now down here, what we can do is if cash or actually one second, uh, wrong script right uh, here in the item one script. Looks like we already checked if the player had enough cash. So what we're gonna be doing is just straight away giving them the tool. So we're not going to check if they have enough cash right here, we're just going to give them the tool. So we also need to um, minus the price or take away cash on the server side because if we take away cash on the client side it won't appear for the server and so the server will never know that the player lost the cash. So we're going to do cash minus equals price and then what you want to do go down a few lines and now we're gonna give the player the tool so right up here you want to do local backpack equals player 
Owen Wait for Child backpack. And then once you're done that, you wanna do you wanna do game dot server storage. And one second. Right here, this tools folder that's in replicated storage, we're actually gonna move it over to the server storage instead. So now once you have it in server storage, you wanna do server storage dot tools. Um, and then you want to do two um, uh, square brackets and then in here you want to type in tool and then what you're going to do is colon clone two brackets dot parent equals backpack and now this is our script um, pretty much complete basically what we're doing is um, taking away their cache or we can actually just um, do cash equals cash minus price. So right here, we're taking the tool from server storage, cloning it, and then setting the parent to the player's backpack. So and now what we're gonna do is go ahead and close out that script. And we're not quite done yet. We actually have to go inside this script. So really quickly, you can go ahead and copy this at the top here, this event variable. And then you can also paste it in at the top of your um, script over here. And then now what you want to do is leave the humanoid unequipped tools and then from there we actually need to uh, do this here so you can go ahead and copy this line of code up to the colon copy it go to the give tool script and then right above right above this line make sure it's above this line 100 percent and you want to just paste it there and right before the colon you want to type player so now we're actually clearing all the backpacks children so there's no more tools there we can actually just change this to backpack if you want it's the same thing so basically we just clear the backpack and then give them the new tool hey everyone roblox dev here and i quickly found the error so basically it wasn't actually removing our um cache so basically all i did is printed the price to make sure price was correct it was so the issue i don't know what it was all i did is i removed dot value from over here and I put it over here. So what we're doing is cash dot value equals cash dot value minus price. Hopefully this helped. And if your error still isn't fixed, be sure to join the Discord and leave, um, you know, a message in the Studio Help channel. I'll get to you. So now you can go ahead and close out that script. I'm gonna keep it open because I might need something soon. So this can all be the same. I'm just gonna do this. And now what we're gonna do is type in. We already have our variable here, so we're just going to do event, colon, fire, fire server, and then uh, two brackets. And now what you're going to do is check which order you put everything here. So the tool and the price. So for us, we have our price here and then the tool name here. So we're, we're actually just going to uh, change a variable to tool like that. And then we're just gonna fire server tool, and you actually don't have to change it. You can keep it the same. Keep it the same if you want. Tool, comma, price, just like this. And now you have um, pretty much everything done. Now you can go ahead and copy this script, and then you can go to the item two script and paste it all in. And for now, we can leave it the same. I'm just gonna make this price twenty. And now that's basically our um, tool giving system done. So we can go ahead and test it out. And we can check if the server sees the change. So tools is not a valid member of replicated storage. That's because um, it's not. So we're just gonna delete line two in both of our local scripts, just like this. And in our first one as well, we're gonna delete the local tools line. And then go ahead and hit play. Now, once you load in, you wanna go ahead and get 10 strength. Or, and pick up some coins if you want. There we go. Now I have 11 cash. And I'm going to step on this. And I'm going to buy the item. Success. We got the weight one. And we can go ahead and close it off. Now let's switch over to the server. And we can check our player. And as you can see, now we have weight one. So that's, um, that's really good. Now that our tool giving system is working. So anyways, that, that's going to be it for this video. Um, sorry if it got a bit confusing at times. Just make sure you copy everything properly. And 
Um, if there's any issues, make sure you join the Discord server, where I can personally help you out. And other than that, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Also, leave a comment down below if you'd like to. And if this video helped you out, again, please be sure to leave a like. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.